This is Josh Rubin from East West Healing Performance. I'm back in California. I'm feeling good. Feeling vitalized from the sun out here. Got some sleep last night. Today I want to just give a quick YouTube click on, on soil depletion and food. Now, we look at all the food out there today. Conventional, organic. It's all different. What are we eating though? Where's it coming from? We say it's organic, but we've got to understand the soil. You know, what, what's going on in the soil? Listen to this quote I got for you. Okay. No man today can eat enough fruits and vegetables to supply his system with the mineral salts he requires for perfect health. Now, I'm sure you've heard that before, correct? This was actually given to the 74th Congress in 1936, okay, by a bunch of food, soil scientists trying to blow the whistle. And the Congress ignored it. This was back in 1936. Now, think about from 1936 to today, think about how much soil depletion and if the soil is depleted, the food's going to be depleted, okay? Not to mention, people are eating conventional foods. They think they're getting, you know, a conventional, you know, apple that's this big. Well, it's pretty much just water. It's, it's void of most minerals. At the same time, we're getting maybe organic apples, but we don't know too much about the soil. We know that, yes, it's organic. But we don't really know, mineral-wise, what's going on in the soil. So many minerals that are needed in the body for so many different processes from the thyroid to the gut to neurotransmitters, to bone health, and on and on, okay? Now, we look at a lot of these diseases, we wonder where it's coming from. You know, if we keep peeling the layers back from food to lifestyle to emotions, and on and on and on, and we keep getting back to the source of where things are coming from, we can see why maybe our soils are so depleted. Not to mention that most people just don't give a shit about the earth, and they trash the earth. Uh, they're not good at recycling. People think just eating organic is being green. Well, what about recycling, giving back to the earth, uh, you know, and doing things like that? Um, so you should treat the earth just like as you treat yourself, okay? So if you look at some statistics, mineral depletion in apples, okay? It's been shown through research that calcium has dropped about 48%. Phosphorus has dropped 84%. Iron has dropped 96% and magnesium has dropped 82%. Now, I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of these minerals, and you need to take this mineral and that mineral, but you can look at this, and a lot of you know iron and magnesium. Magnesium is good for heart health. You know, iron is good for the thyroid, the blood, and all that, and on and on and on. You can see how much it is depleted. Okay, I'm going to give you some more statistics. Magnesium depletion in most foods has dropped. Okay, it's dropped 77% in cabbage. 91% in lettuce. So what are we eating when we eat lettuce? It's green water. 35% in spinach and 82% apples. Now if you look at magnesium, we can look at magnesium for bones. We can look at magnesium uh, for dis different things in the body. Uh, more importantly, heart health. A lot of the foods you're eating are depleted. Now a lot of this research didn't say if it's conventional versus organic. That's my problem with your current research. It doesn't state Let's do it on organic vegetables. Most won't because they'll find that they actually have more than the conventional, which is going to totally shock their world. So I would assume that most of this is done in conventional vegetables and fruits. But from my perspective in dealing with people, most people that I deal with that come to see me don't eat organic. Okay, They're eating conventional. And what you can see you're eating is just genetically modified fruits and vegetables that are full of water and void of nutrients. You ever wonder why people are so fatigued, overweight, and feel like crap all the time? Besides eating crap, sorry, and living like crap, they're eating foods that are void of nutrients. Now, if we go to organic, organic foods definitely have more nutrients and minerals in them, hands down. There's a lot of research to show that, okay? But at the same time, they're still void of a lot of these minerals. So if you feel you're eating conventional or you might have mineral depletion, my recommendation is start taking some minerals. First thing you can do is get some gray Celtic sea salt. Celtic sea salt is gray. That's how you know it's Celtic sea salt. It's not white. Put a pinch of that in every bottle of water you drink. That's my first recommendation to get the minerals throughout the day. Okay. Second thing you could do, the certain companies like Biomatrix One, Biotics Research, um, uh, Thorn Research, Algae Research Group, you can actually purchase, a, purchase them through us, that you can actually take a mineral supplement at night. Okay. What you'll find, though, if you don't need it, if you can take a mineral supplement, is that when you take it at night, it's actually going to cause restless sleep. Okay. 
So that's one way to know if you might not need the minerals. Okay. Prime example, for instance, you know, I eat organic, I eat pretty healthy. I tried taking a mineral suppl supplement once just to see if it would help, and it just was very hard for me to sleep at night. So for me, from life experience, that's a negative reaction. So this is just a quick tip for you. You know, we're looking into all these different things out there. We're going back to the source. Find out where you, what's going on in the soils. Find out where the foods are coming from. And if you're really interested in learning more about the soil, you can go to websites like Acres USA and study the research of Rudolf Steiner and biodynamic farming and how the soil produces the foods, okay? And the foods keep man alive. So we got to know what's in our soil and we got to know where things are coming from. So hopefully you learned something from this quick YouTube clip. If you've got more questions, visit our website at eastwesthealing.com. Get a lot of articles, free um, audio programs, and a blog. And feel free to give us a call if you'd like to set up a free consultation. Have a great day.